This is John Demokos, a.k.a. Half Man, Half Cichlid. I thought it was about time to give an update on my 200-gallon uh, planted aquarium. And uh, my, my initial thought on this is uh, I've had CO2 injection for about six to eight months, and it uh, has so far been unbelievable as far as uh, exceeding my expectations as far as plant growth. Uh, I mean, what you're seeing here is uh, you know, plants that were very small five, six months ago that have just exploded in growth. In fact, I'm having to trim the tank about once a week and move plants out to other tanks every few weeks because uh, they're growing so fast. And one of the nice things about all the plants I have in this aquarium, they're either grown in baskets or they're, uh, I think they're called epiphytes, they're attached to uh, wood or rocks like uh, the Anubias or uh, what else, uh, of course the uh, Java fern is also, in, in my case I have it attached to uh, uh, driftwood. So uh, the neat thing about this setup is as I go planted with other tanks, this aquarium uh, serves as a, uh, you know, kind of a farm to uh, grow plants for other aquariums. So, uh, you know, after 50 years or so, 60 years in the hobby, for example, and trying plants many times, uh, you know, using CO2 and having spectacular results like this has really been uh, rewarding for me. Let's get a little closer here. Uh, I also like, I mean, the fish have hiding places. Uh, there's a lot more fish in here than you might think. But, uh, you know, there's breeding activity. For example, the uh, redhead tapajos have a, uh, there's a hole back there where they, uh, they breed, and I have a, a batch of babies going at uh, this time. I've got uh, Cynodontus catfish in here uh, patrolling the bottom. And uh, the fish are uh, primarily, uh, well, we have 10 Bosmani uh, rainbows. Most of them are males. We've got uh, five large uh, Geophagus svena, which, you know, these guys will turn out to be one of my favorite fish. And as they mature and they get larger, the uh, long trailers are starting to develop on uh, all of them, even, even the uh, females. The big male, I think, is in the back uh, uh, breeding right now. Yeah, you can see he's back there beating off, uh, well, that's the female beating off a, uh, a uh, Bosmani rainbow. There's the male. So, you know, they're doing their thing back there in their cubby hole. Uh, with the plants, it seems like all the fish are able to establish their own territories a lot more readily. For example, the angels like to stay on this side of, of the aquarium, the Bosmanis on the left side of the aquarium. Oh, there's an angel here. And uh, the uh, Svenai, which are really the tank bosses, uh, you know, they roam freely, uh, especially when they're uh, breeding and they become a little bit territorial. But fortunately, even with the breeding activity, there's really no uh, aggression to uh, speak of. So in terms of plants, uh, I've got a couple uh, Amazon swords in here and these guys have just absolutely uh, taken off with the CO2. Of course I've got a bed of different types of uh, Java fern. Uh, I have Anubias, most of the Anubias I've grown in my Anubias emergent 
Enubius Farm, which uh, I went through in a previous uh, video, and they're really doing uh, well too. The nice thing about CO2 is uh, the Enubius doubles in size, well not doubles in size, but grows twice as fast as uh, without CO2. You know, I've mentioned other videos, I'm a biologist, so I like to look at uh, biological solutions to water purification and uh, waste removal, such as uh, nitrates. Uh, you know, I get kind of tired of all the claims about uh, pothos and uh, other type of, you know, things that remove nitrates. You know, they're effective, but in my experience, they're mainly decorative, and I've not been find, found a way to do denitrification. But anyway, in this case, what I have, and I'm shining a, a flashlight on there, I have a water sprite biofilter. And you can see the extent of the growth, the extent of the uh, root systems that uh, cleanse this water on a continuous basis. I've got to trim that uh, biofilter, let's call it a Wyatt Water Sprite biofilter about uh, twice a week because it grows so fast with the CO2 and the uh, nutrients that the fish give, give off. I do add iron too and micronutrients, but beyond that, uh, the uh, food, uh, fish food provides, uh, you know, the basis for uh, ammonia, nitrites, and nitrates, which the uh, the plants uh, love. So that's what's going on. Uh, my crips have created a jungle and I've got these now spread throughout my uh, fish room because they've gotten so big and I've had to remove uh, baskets which is you know as I mentioned earlier it's very easy I just pull a basket out and put it into another another aquarium so anyway that's the uh, update on the 200 Hope you enjoyed it. I'm always experimenting with new methods, and uh, right now I like this uh, biofilter. It also gives uh, it also gives a source for fry to hide out. I'm raising Geophagus fenna in a separate aquarium, but I wouldn't be surprised if some of them that uh, uh, reach the fry stay successfully and don't get eaten. We'll start to habitat. Uh, we'll start to uh, live within the uh, root ball and uh, hopefully grow to uh, be uh, fish that will populate this aquarium in the future. Hope you enjoyed it. That's my 200 gallon uh, update. Thanks for visiting.